This play is called O tight, wing right, 36 counter. Now O tight means we'll go with double tight ends, meaning our formation's tight. Wing right, which means our wings to the right. Four back is our wing back. And um, 36 counter, three backs going to the six hole. Now let's let's start with the backfield action. Once the ball snapped, the two back is faking to the left. His aiming point is the inside foot of the left tackle. So if he has to execute a, a good fake, sell it. Quarterback's going to open up this way. Like he's going to hand him the ball. That'll get flow coming this way. And then he's going to turn, hand to the three. The three's going to jab step. And just as the two's passing, he's going to jab and then come back this way through the six hole. Okay, so, and it's very important that this two, he sells his fake. You know, it can't be a half-hearted fake. He's really got to sell. We really want him to come down and continue his fake. Don't just stop. Run like he has the football. Now, our guards, we have an inside-over free blocking rule. So our guard is no one inside, no one over. He's getting on the backer. Center's blocking the nose. If you're having problems with a good nose guard or you're shooting gaps, you can double-team him as well. That, that's that's an option but if your center can handle a nose that's great if not just double him with the play side guard our tackle inside over he has an over call so he's going to block over tight end same th same blocking rules apply inside over free no one inside no one over he's getting on the backer our wing he is gonna lead through the hole He's going to block linebacker. He's going to fold down inside the DN and get onto linebacker. Now, we're going to pull this guard. He's going to come here and he's kicking out the first defender past the tight end, which is usually the DN. So it's important that your quarterback, when he executes this fake, he has to get depth in the backfield so he doesn't collide with the guard. Now, the tackle replaces the guard gap, um, replaces the guard. So he'll step down, and in this case, there's no threat, so he's going to block the tackle. Tight end is going to replace the tackle. He's going to block down. There's no inside over threat, so he's getting on the linebacker. So when we pull, the guards are, um, excuse me, the tackle's replacing the guard. Tight end's replacing the tackle. Another thing you can do is, when this two back is faking, you could have him fill and have the two back replace the guard. So that's just another way of running it. Now. You don't have to pull this ta um, this guard either. You could just block this. Let me fix this board here. You could block this straight up if you want. You could have you could have the tight end block the end out and have the four back fold and come into linebacker. Because if we're running inside, if we're running inside. This kick out that's an easy block. So that, you know you have an option of blocking out with your tight end. Or even if you wanted to, you could block out with your wing. It's whatever you want. So if you don't want to pull inside over free, if you don't want to pull, you could just kick him out, have the four back fold, and it almost turns into like an isolation play where you're isolating this kid. But, um, you know, have him fold and lead block. That, that's probably the easiest way to run it. And then say we're going back to pulling and kicking out, pulling the guard. You could have the tight end block the tackle. If you have a problem with this tackle, you could have the tight end help him, help the offensive tackle, so you can move this kid. And have the four fold through, and have the guard kick out. So there's a lot of different options here. And I also like the double tight end look, because if they're overloading to the wing, whether they're shifting, or say they're rolling the corner up, or you know they're, they're really shifting to your wing side, you could run counter the other way you can run O tight wing right 25 counter where the three would go he jab step and come back guard would pull he block linebacker and he pull so you could run it when you have balanced formations and double tights it spreads the offense out horizontally and it allows you to attack either the right side or left side so that's a beautiful thing and here you could go on a quick count you could go on a long count this play is very easy to install, and it always works in youth football. This play always works. Because 9 out of 10 times, this D-tackle is going to come down the line of scrimmage laterally, chasing the first, 
chasing the first fake action and then that's just he's gonna leave a big gap here hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video in the description below i put a link where you could click and download our free split back playbook it's very easy to install and it works very well in youth football and also follow us on twitter we follow back all coaches players parents organizations if you're into football we'll follow you back